iPhoneization. Okay, yeah, it's a word that I made up. Let's get into it. Apple made good laptops. Do they still make good laptops? Yes, they still make good laptops, but are they as good as they used to be? All right, for fear of sounding like an old man reminiscing about the good old days, I'll refrain from talking about how good the laptops used to be because with the absence of a real side-by-side -side comparison and every single feature, it's really hard to tell. Even on this channel where I do lots of comparisons between the recently the M1 Mac and my Intel Core i9, I still won't be able to go into all the features, but I try to focus on developer-based features. Anyway, the new generation of processors will destroy any of the old processors in performance, even if they do overheat and throttle and do all kinds of thrashing and but if you do want to see some developer related performance measurements, then check out my videos where I compare the 2015 MacBook Pro to the new 2020 MacBook Air with the M1 chip. That aside, in this video, I want to share some thoughts about what I think Apple is up to these days, especially with the release of the M1 and what I think they'll be up to for the next few generations of the Mac. I'm calling this the iPhoneization of the Mac. Yeah, it's a word I made up. This is just pure speculation and my opinion, of course. Since the iPhone came out, Apple has seen how their iPhone business is doing pretty well, I'd say, and that every one or two years, people upgrade their iPhones. Back in the good old days of MacBook, the ones that actually worked really well, you know, they were stable, they never crashed. I'm talking about the 2012 to 2015 era of MacBooks around there, not the 2016. Back then, people kept their machines much longer than iPhones. And this year marks a turning point with the M1. So what I think Apple is doing here is changing the category of portable computers to resemble that of the category of portable phones. They're trying to converge the technologies perhaps. Maybe they all do belong in the same category, mobile devices. If you imagine, I don't know, 100 years from now, will people carry separate devices as their phones and their laptops, or will just have one device, or maybe just an implant? I don't know. Can you imagine that though? An Apple implant? Ooh, scary. But I don't know, in 100 years, we may find it perfectly acceptable. Okay, not to get sidetracked here, we're still only a fifth of the way through the 21st century here. Maybe for now, laptops should be laptops and phones should be phones. And they should just have different roles to play in our digital tool chest. Back to Apple's iPhoneization and why they might be doing this to their portable Macs. Now this could be for several reasons. Perhaps they just wanna have one line of devices so you can have your mobile computational power all the way from a small device that fits into your pocket all the way to their 16 inch powerhouse that we know as the MacBook Pro right now. The other reason could be the bottom line of the company, right? It's a for-profit company and maybe they just wanna bring more attention to the chip number, you know, the M1, the M2, the M3, et cetera. This really triggers our consumer mindset to want to have the latest and the greatest. When everything was Intel based, then the i7s and the i9s lasted for several generations of MacBooks. And that from a marketing perspective, didn't sell more MacBooks. People didn't upgrade as often. By iPhoneizing the MacBook, the consumer will want to update more frequently and thus selling more MacBooks. Marketing. We've seen bold and courageous moves from Apple before. So this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. And if this was indeed their plan, then it makes sense. Is Apple innovating with the M1? Sure, the ARM chip existed for a long time already, but even though I believe that yes, they are innovating with this machine and we've seen how the attention that they're drawing to the ARM processor, calling it Apple Silicon, that's also marketing. That attention is going to really change the industry and I've talked about that on this channel before. Are they going to drive more sales to MacBooks by implementing this naming scheme, M1, M2, M3? Well, yes, I think that marketers at Apple are giving each other high fives right now. So that's just my opinion. What do you think? Is iPhoneization real? Let me know in the comments down below. And let's draw some conclusions here or maybe more questions that will be answered in due time. Should we refrain from buying a Mac if the big evil Apple company is trying to market to us? I think uh, we should just buy what we feel will make our jobs easier. If you're a developer like me and you see that the MacBook 
M1 or M2 or whatever it is, is doing better and it's performing better than its predecessors. And if it's worth it to you, then go ahead and buy it. Not buying a machine just to spite this company and not supporting Apple because they're evil is only hurting yourself. Next question. Is marketing like this in general evil or unethical? Well, in my opinion, I don't think it is. You can look at many tech companies, even Intel and AMD, you'll see marketing tactics applied to help their sales as well. Maybe they're just not as good as Apple is at marketing, but they are doing it. There are probably lots of opinions about this and I'm sure you have your own too. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And one other thing to think about, one more thing. This is something I considered and some of you have brought it up in the comments too. If iPhoneization of the Mac is a real thing, do you think that Apple will intentionally slow down their old machines with new operating systems like they supposedly did with the iPhone a few years back? Hmm, what do you think about that? All right, folks, those are just some thoughts today. I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, do consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.